talking to Mike Weber, the, uh, I guess you, I could see if I get your title right, assistant defensive uh, coach or coordinator of Lycoming football. Is that is that close? No, I don't think it's assistant. I'm just happy being a linebacker coach right now. That's what I've been, and, um, you know, we don't look at things and titles and stuff like that. So I'm just linebacker coach. I'm coaching been with Wise and now Mike and Coach, coach G. So, nope, just a linebacker coach. We'll keep it at that. Well, I, as I was telling telling you before I hit the record button, I, I don't know a whole lot about you. I, I'm sure this isn't your livelihood. Do you, you have a regular job? <laughs> yeah, I actually have two full, let's say two full-time jobs. But my real job is I'm a teacher down at Muncie High School. I've been there for the last 18 years. I'm a social studies teacher. Uh, I teach ninth grade civics and 10th grade world cultures. So that's that's my first full-time job. That's the one I get paid the most amount of money for. So, but... um. And then my second full-time job is here at the college, so and it's a, it's a long season for us. Well, I know uh, you you have a love for for football, especially uh, defensive football, like coming college, which has such a great tradition. Uh, take us back. How, how did you get here to like coming uh, uh, and get with uh, the man Wiser? You know, it's funny. This will be my 20th year coach in four years of playing. So um, I can never, I'll never forget when I was being recruited here. Coach Curry was recruiting me at the time. And uh, coming across the bridge, my, my older brother brought me. And we have a cabin up on Pine Creek. So he was going to go up to the cabin and drop me off here. So, um, But I can never forget, Curry said, when, as soon as you cross the Market Street Bridge, look for the tall buildings on the right-hand side. And that's like coming college. So that's kind of how I was introduced to like coming college. Uh, back in 1984 and of course I played it for four years and then uh, right after graduation uh, for somehow I, I started coaching here right away but the lead into that is when I was a senior uh, of course we played JV games and all of us all the coaches are, were, were teachers at the time with the exception of G and Kerr so somebody had to coach the defense so Frank asked me one day uh, hey Webby would you come with me and help me with the defense and we're going up to up to Mansfield to play and I said I'd love to and that's kind of whet my appetite for coaching and you know I said you know I'd like to do this and stick around never did I think in my wildest dreams 20 years later I'd still be here at Lake Cumming but uh, that's kind of how it got evolved. G asked me if I'd help him coach the defense here up in a JV game and since then the rest is history here's, here's where I've been. There's a couple things that impress me about Lycoming's defense and watching you guys. Uh, uh, you always get them ready for if there's a turnover. Uh, I, you don't cry about it. It's your job that if, if somehow if the ball's coughed up, you're supposed to go out there and get that ball back or shut them down. And, and I see you on the sidelines uh, psyching these kids up. It's, it's, it's really a, a treat to see. Well, I think we imply the we philosophy. I, I never ever been a part of this staff where anybody said the word I, um, and, and that means a lot to me because individually we're just one person, but together we're a team. We this year our emphasis is we're 97 links, and, and it's always been we. Sometimes hey, the defense has to do a little bit more. It's never 50-50, and you know defensively sometimes we got to pick up the up the slack if we're struggling offensively on our special teams. Otherwise, sometimes the defense isn't up to par, and the other two parts of the game have to take in place so um you know getting the kids up that comes they we're more of as much of a fan as the people up in the stands are on saturday our kids are well prepared they know exactly what's going on and we kind of watch the game and make adjustments they're ready to play throughout the week uh you know they ask they do everything we ask of them and you know come saturday it's a show and we get to watch the show on saturdays from the sidelines we just have better seats than everybody else so that, that's kind of neat to do yeah well it's it's kind of fun and i've seen you there uh uh, uh, even even uh, wise to tell them you won't let them score. You won't let them score. Tell me about it, and they start saying they will not score. And uh, and it's 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 kind of fun. And uh, switching over to Kings now, uh, they're 0 and 7. But you're not taking them too lightly, early, are you? Good running, good running attack. Um, one thing about this conference, especially true this year, you can never take anyone for granted. I mean, sometimes, you know, we played Wilkes. Wilkes didn't have a, a winning record. And, you know, not to say that they're a bad ball club, but, you know, we expected to win, but we failed to show up and play 60 minutes worth of football. Um, you know, who knows? Maybe nine times out of ten we play and we beat them. We beat them nine times out of ten, but that one time on that one day, they beat us, and you got to be ready to play each and every Saturday. So, no, we're not looking past Kings at all. In fact, I think we kind of put the heat on a little bit more and expect more. We're looking this at our second. Last week we said this: we have three games, 
three playoff games, and last week was our first one. This is our second one, so you know, and that's the way we're looking at it. Each game is a playoff game because ultimately we want to get to the to the national playoffs, and to do that, we got to win our next two ball games. So I don't think we're looking past anything right now. Well, that's true. Win and you're out. If that's where you want, or I mean, if you lose, you're out, and that's that's the way you got to look at it. And you got to try to win all the way out to get into the playoffs. And that was probably your top goal. That obviously that's our goal ever since I've been here is to win the MAC, win the MAC championship and then get into the national playoffs. And that goal, no matter who's here, will never change. If you're worth anything, uh, you set your goals high and you work towards those those goals. And that's you know we work as individual position coaches, as a as a defensive and offense special teams, and obviously as a whole team. And as a team, it's to win the MAC national win the MAC championships and get a shot for the national championship play. So that's that's where we're going for. One last uh, thing, I, I don't know what year it was, but it's when I started uh, watching like coming football since 96, and uh, it was it was a playoff game against Rowan, and, and you were down, uh, I think it might have been 28-7 or something like that, and you came back to win that game here. Do you remember that game? Well, I can tell you it was the last game that was played at our old stadium, so it was 1997 um, against Rowan, and it was 20 nothing at halftime. We came back to win 28-20. Um, that was one of the coldest games I've ever been part of. Um, but obviously, if you look at emotional games and so forth, that would definitely have to be one of the top four or five that I've been around. So absolutely, that game. There are certain games that you don't forget and things, and that's that's one of those games that you would never forget. Okay. Uh, good luck on Saturday. We'll see you over there at Kings. And, uh just can keep joining yourself, huh? Oh, absolutely. It's, it's been a blast. Uh, you know, um, when Frank re decided to retire, it was like, oh, my God, now is, is my ride over and whatnot. But it's just things worked out, and, uh, and they always work out for a reason. And, again, I'm just as happy now as I was last year and the other 19 years with Frank. So uh, things have gone real well, and I hope everybody comes out and sees us on Saturday, and hopefully we can put on a good show for them. 24 years with Lycoming, Cumming, 20 as a coach, and uh, uh, it's a pleasure. Mike uh, Weber linebacker coach for the Lycoming College Warriors. Thank you, John. I appreciate it. Thank you. Take care. Thanks, John.